Hello, I'm Pastor Gordon Walsh. And first, I'd like to thank the uh, the Bible shop here in the Uptown. You know, if you ever need anything, come down here, man. They're awesome people. They also have a lot of things. They got lots of books, lots of Bibles, a lot of commentaries, knickknacks, all kinds of stuff for your uh, for your needs. Anyways, I'm Pastor Gordon Walsh, pastor of New Heritage Church, and you've probably seen a lot of these videos already. If you like them, make sure you share them with people. They might need them. You know, yesterday I was teaching a class, and we were teaching about the Sadducees and the Pharisees. And real quick, we'll cover the Sadducees real quick. The Sadducees are kind of like an elite group. You know, they're, they're a little bit, you know, arrogant, if you will. They're, they're upper class. They, they've got money. Um, they don't really, they don't go after to convert people. They're, they, they accept Hellenism. Hellenism in the Bible, when it's talking about Hellenism in general, even historically, is the acceptance of the Greek and Roman culture. So they accepted that culture. And the difference with the Pharisees is actually, if you look at the Pharisees, Really what they are is just kind of the early church, the Christians, you know, they, they went to the synagogues, they went to church, they, they, um, they held um, um, teachings, and they, they, were, they were common people, they were middle class people, they, they were lay ministers, um, they, they wanted to bring in converts, they, they didn't hold their salvation strictly to the, um, the sacrifices, though they did sacrifices, but they knew that that wasn't the, the way to heaven, but through a relationship with God. And, and when you really, if you go through um, Matthew 23, the, the Pharisees kind of get a bad rap, if you look at it, because Jesus has gone through there and talks about the Pharisees. You know, some are, some are arrogant in the sense of positional. Oh, I want my title. Some of them don't want to look at anything because they're afraid that they're going to sin. Um, so just read through Matthew 23, and you're going to see all these different types of Pharisees. You know, they're, they're classed out in there. Most of the time when you read it, you kind of just read it all through if it's one. They're all separate people. And that's kind of when we look at Christians, we can kind of see ourselves in some of those Pharisees. But then when you turn over to Acts 5, that's the, the good Pharisee, if you will. That's That would be the good Christian. That's what we should be acting like. So we got to understand the Pharisees weren't all bad people. Jesus was using them as examples on what not to do and um, how to conduct and how to be ourselves. Some of them wanted to work their way to heaven, and, and we don't work our ways to heaven. So when you read in Scripture and you just ever wondered what a Pharisee was, really that's what a Pharisee is. He, he was a person that, that taught the, the community, the, the town, um, about the Torah, about the belief in God. He, he was a lay leader and he didn't go out and and do um, full-time ministry. There might have been a few, but by the most part, he was a lay, common person. They, they wanted converts, you know? They're the everyday person, and just like you and I are as Christians, you know, some of us, some of us are afraid we're gonna sin. Some of us feel like we have to work our way to heaven. You know, some of us even are positional. It's seen with pastors at times where, oh, it has to be the lead pastor. You know, we only want the senior pastors. So, you know, what we want to be is loving and open to all people so we can embrace them and do the best we can to transform them through Jesus Christ. So just walk with your brothers and sisters as they as they move and, and, and start to become more and more like Jesus Christ. Don't condemn them in that process. Hey, if you like this message, we'd love to see you on Facebook or just love to see you on Sunday. We'd love to see you on Facebook as well. But Sunday at Badger Canyon, that's where our church is located. Hey, uh, hey, these are these these are one time shots. If you if you find a funny, good, you know. Hey, whatever. But also, you can find us on YouTube and uh, just type in my name, Gordon Walsh, and also our webpage at HeritageTC.org. Hey, we'd love to see you on a Sunday. Remember the Bible. Um, the Bible shop in the Uptown. Come down here for your for your ministry needs, for your house, for your for your children, whatever it is. They got it. Hey, God bless.